that I'm going to do a few more classes because I felt like somehow it was just like, and there was people sending me emails saying if I was going to carry on, if, if I'm going to do this like a regular paying classes. And for me, that's not the purpose really. So I don't think I'm going to, once I, um, this always was the idea of, you know, leaving this uh, for free in order for everyone being able to access, to have access to it in a time where we are all in need and we all need to be together. And I don't even want anyone to be left out. And of course, uh, you can donate to my fundraising for Great Ormond Street. I'm so thrilled. I think we're going to the what the for those new what do you wear in terms of shoes? Uh Michaela, you can wear anything from flamenco shoes to um any other comfortable shoes. What I uh suggest is don't be bare feet or in socks. Uh, if you can avoid it, or maybe you know, if you have a carpet and you don't go too hard on your feet, you can be uh, with your socks. But I suggest to wear some kind of uh, comfortable shoes, okay? Because you can damage your feet if you get too excited and maybe stomp without anything in your feet. So that's what I what I recommend for the classes. Anything that is comfortable and try to avoid being bare feet, but you want to do so is just just be mindful don't uh go too hard and injure yourself because i've got uh shoes okay i've got flamenco shoes but some trainers or anything comfortable could be okay uh so yeah i was saying sorry the yeah about the classes so what i'm doing is just i'm doing a few more classes okay so i'm gonna carry on until the end of june so uh, I think it's three more classes. So in total, it's gonna be, I think, 40 classes in total. <laughs> no, not strong, but a few. I'm, uh, thank you so much for your kind message through the, through the chat and you're really very kind. And I'm really, uh, I'm really very selfish as well because I'm very enjoying very much these classes and being with you guys. So yeah, <laughs> so it's good that we're gonna be three more lessons together. So we're not in such a hurry to finish the, the choreography. What I'm gonna do today, uh, my plan for this class, and you tell me if you uh, think that uh, you want to do something else, but it's just that I introduced the other last class, a uh, set of footwork, uh, body percussion ish that I want to introduce to you. So we're going to do this uh, set. Okay, so I'm going to clarify it. We're going to work on it today. Doesn't matter if you don't have flamenco shoes, you need to learn what is the, the technique. Okay, so it's the movement of the feet and of the clapping and of the arms. And then when you go to the studio, uh, you can do it with your flamenco shoes. So that's not a problem if you don't have them, okay? So then we're gonna learn this little bit that I really want to, you to have so you can work on it and uh, because it could be the trickiest part of the choreography. And then we're gonna start from the very beginning and we're gonna start cleaning up things. Let's get started. You all ready? Yeah, good. I'm recording. That's very important because last Thursday I forgot to put recording for the intermediate class and then I did a recording kind of, I did a mess. So I'm trying to behave this time. Uh, good. So I hope you uh, warm up a bit. I think, yeah, got quite a okay view today. So the uh, last class I introduced this, okay. The, is you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring you with you guys i'm gonna bring you with me here but that's the good thing about the home is and then uh i remind you this okay so a stomp with the right heel with the left heel with the right okay and then same with the left a stomp with the left heel with the right heel with the left okay once again Stomp, heel, heel, stomp, heel, heel. Okay, golpe, tacón, tacón, golpe, tacón, tacón. Good, so that's a very basic uh, uh, flamenco footwork combination. We're not gonna do, we're just gonna use this. So the golpe, tacón, tacón, golpe, tacón, tacón, golpe, tacón, tacón, golpe, tacón, tacón, golpe, tacón, tacón. There's so many videos with this exercise on my channel. 
So you can call and repeat the very basic and super important combination. And we want to do this for the We don't have any football, this is tiny. Okay, then I cannot read your messages. Sorry, it's just that. Uh, so you can also open your microphone and send me anything, okay, if you want to. And then the other part we're going to uh, learn today is just yes, sir, going to mute everyone, so, please. Sorry, Could you please mute everyone? Could you mute everyone? Because we're getting different pictures from different people. Ah, oh, okay. Let me see because I only see myself. Uh, okay, participants. Yeah, I'll mute all. Okay, yeah, if you, I think uh, everyone is muted now. If somehow, I think there's, uh, 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 okay, if somehow uh, you want to say anything, please unmute, say whatever, and then mute yourself as well. Yeah, because there's quite a few of us. So, yeah, 25. So it's difficult. Yeah, there you go. Okay, close. I think maybe that would be better. More chat. Okay, so uh, can please Maria's video. You can spotlight yourself. Okay, there you go. I hope you are just uh, oh, I'm discovering more things with this. So I'm just telling you the the footwork that we're gonna work on, and then we we'll start from the top of the choreography. Okay. So I was saying just use golpe tacon tacon, golpe tacon tacon. So stomp, heel and heel, stomp, heel and heel. And now you're gonna learn just stomp, stomp, stomp with the whole foot on the floor. Okay, and there's gonna be eight. So, no more than that, okay? There's gonna be eight of them, and I'll tell you how to combine them, okay? And I remind you the posture uh, for the footwork is just your. Uh, um, your heels are slightly separated just by one finger and your um, toes are separated by about two fingers so slightly in a v-shape okay so parallel slightly in a v-shape and now you're just gonna bend your knees slightly engage your core and you're ready that's your position okay so let me remind you again so Okay, no more than that. And then you're gonna combine with those eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Okay, so I'm gonna change the view because now you can revisit that if you want in the video. And I'll tell you how to combine this footwork. Because you remember the other day we were doing a bit of clapping and body percussion with this one. So now you're gonna do uh, the golpe tacon tacon, golpe tacon tacon. Okay, so strong, heel and heel, strong, heel and heel. One, okay? So strong, heel, heel, strong, heel, heel, clap. Good, let's go again. I'll do it. You're doing it with the right, okay? So right, left, clap. Good, once again, E. Time, meaning that I'm stomping with the right. Now my heel is the left. Now my heel is the right. Now the other stomp is the left. Now right again, left again. Okay, so you don't repeat any of those. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay, if that makes sense. So now the second combination is going to be here. And I'm uh, trying to hit nicely, okay, be kind to your thigh here where there's a bit less flesh, here can be a bit more painful, especially if you go really go for it, and you do it so many times practicing. So try to go for the body part, okay? So 
you're going to be doing exactly the same as before. So, golpe, tacón, 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 tacón. Now, body percussion <laughs> in the thighs. So, golpe, tacón, tacón, golpe, tacón, tacón, thigh. Golpe, tacón, tacón, golpe, tacón, tacón, thigh. Okay, I'm going to turn around. Ready? With the right. E, right, left. We are going to combine both. So one with the clapping and one with the side. With the side. Okay. So with the right. Strong hip, strong hip, hip, up. Strong hip, hip, strong hip, hip, high. Strong hip, hip, strong hip, hip, up. Strong hip, hip, strong hip, hip, high. Okay. Make sense? Good. I'm going to turn around and do it again. Do it with me, guys. Doesn't matter if you don't have shoes. The important thing is that you learn this technique, that you're stomping with the whole foot on the floor, that your leg is coming from the back, okay? Stomping with your whole foot, that you're not stomping from the front or from the top. You're just uh, bending your knee, and that's how you go with all the power you need so you don't need much here, okay? <laughs> it just is all you need. Remember, slightly V-shape with your heel, um, feet. Bend your knees slightly. Engage your core, shoulders down. You're perfect to go. You do whatever you want, okay? But now, we're just doing this combination today, okay? So, strong heel. around and do it slightly faster. It's, it always goes faster, isn't it? <laughs> there you go. You ready? Starting with the right. E. for a tiny bit because I'm going to count with the music how many we've got before we do the ta 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 so the carretilla with the feet. Same as you do the carretilla with the castanets, we do carretilla with the feet which is literally just golpes, so stomping one after another, okay, on the floor. That's the one we did before that we do eight golpes, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You don't even need to count later because the music will be so clear that it will tell you when to stop with the golpes. So, let me just... <coughs> so I remind you that we are working on this beautiful track from Rosalia, Aunque es de noche, you can find it everywhere, uh, Spotify, uh, in YouTube or any platform because she's massively famous. <laughs> so. 
So, and I really love her voice and this tune, these tangos are really, really beautiful. <coughs> we just can't. <laughs> I'm counting for myself. <laughs> okay, got it. Sorry, guys, my coffee's back. <laughs> Let me get a bit of water. Uh, so, yeah, so we're going to do. <clears throat> Sorry, three and a half, meaning three complete ones. And so, <laughs> I'm counting like this. One, that's one, okay? So the complete set is going to be counted as number one, okay? First set. So we're going to do three, three and a half sets, okay? So, and a half just this one okay and now is the eight golpes the carretilla coming one two three four five six seven eight counting it could be tricky okay so it's just uh so the three and a half plus the eight golpes so the carretilla okay so this one two we call it carretilla when we do it really, really fast. Okay, I don't know if the connection will be okay for you to see it, but I'm just kind of sure. I don't know what is coming through you uh, because of the, the connection of the internet, but it's just same. It's just golpes, 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 golpes. The difference is the speed, okay? But for us, it's gonna be just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight today, okay? Can we do it together? Three and a half, remember, and the set, is made of the two. Number one. Number two. Number three. Now the and a half. That's the half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and we'll start again. Okay, let's do it uh, with me turning around. You ready to do the full set? Let's do it twice, okay? You ready? Starting with the right. E. So that's the footwork you're going to have in this choreography. No more than that. There's no footwork in the beginning, there's nothing. This is just because it's kind of a building up moment for the end. And then we're just going to slow down a tiny bit. Okay, so <coughs> good. So this footwork is going to start. I'll tell you exactly the moment with the, with the music. Okay, so this is the part we did uh, the other class with the with uh, just the arm work. 
and then we're gonna start with this part that is a bit more powerful okay. so i'll tell you exactly the the moment with the music five six seven eight okay good so it's about seconds minute three seconds zero five something like that and she's saying like aunque de noche aunque de noche and then she's building up aunque de noche aunque de noche yeah so that is the moment where we're gonna do the footwork yeah so ready you follow me with the music don't worry trust me and then you'll be able to replay the video and get exactly the moment where we start with the footwork okay ready something else good okay so that makes sense that's gonna be twice okay twice we're gonna do it again we're gonna do it again once without the music and once without you see it's not too fast at all with the music but you really need to work on the combination to feel confident with it because what can happen is that once you think oh i got it then we go too fast and then it's not on time and it's really in this tango rhythm Okay, so I'm, I'm working exactly on the rhythm, on the tango's rhythm. So you can use this combination in any thing that you're doing in tangos, okay? So the, as long as you know where you are with the rhythm, it's, it's just, uh, it's absolutely perfect for any moment, okay? So one, two, three, four. Tango's rhythm, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, till you drop. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Okay, <coughs> so let's do it again. Once without the music, follow me, guys, and then we'll do it with the music. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Ready? So I'm gonna count the one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, so we start in the one. Ready? So I'll give you one, just say it, and then we start. One, two, three, four. of uh just to do everyone the same that you are using your hands on your hips but this is just the very beginning because then later what you're doing really is just keeping the position until you change the next one okay so is that with your upper part and i know you're concentrating in your uh footwork so really the less the more sober movements you can do with your upper part 
the better because otherwise it can become like I don't know what to do with my arms because I'm getting so much uh, I'm getting so concentrated in my in my legs okay so really keep it keep it here guys keep it sober keep it just good work uh, <coughs> concentrated sorry <coughs> okay good uh, I'm so glad you're not here you're virtually there because you would be freaking out with me coughing in class so I'm sorry about that I promise you it's allergies guys but still I'm so glad that you know you don't have to be <laughs> worried about being near me so that's a good thing about uh, virtual classes that ah uh, yeah well, silly me and my comments anyway so e. <laughs> So keep your upper part, keep your posture. And keep it here until you need to change. So you don't rumble with the arms. What do I do? Okay, and then when the, the, the three and a half, when the and a half comes, you are here. And now, ready for the caratilla, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're just gonna do with your arms. So from here, up, and then down. And you are going to try dips with your whole body, okay? So if I'm sideways, you are here. your back okay so that's the beauty of the thing that's uh, kind of one one two or even three steps forward so don't worry just to keep it in the beginning here that's kind of phase one okay so keep it here with your uh, carretilla if you feel a bit more confident one two three four five six seven eight just do your arms try to distribute the movements in the eight uh, goal pace if you feel more confident, go for the body. I always give you options so you can keep progressing. And the moment you're struggling, there is too much, go back. Go back to the step before. It's absolutely fine. You progress faster if you go one step backwards. Yeah, so it's just backwards always to take impulse to go forward. It's not going backwards because it's, 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 uh, you're getting worse. No, not at all. That's the wise thing to do. But if you feel uh, more confident, e. Okay, makes sense? Good. So let's do it just uh, without the music first and then with the music. Uh, just quick check up on you guys. I haven't uh, ask you if you're okay thumbs up thumbs down i'm checking up on you guys thumbs up are you freaking out no all good <laughs> you're still with me some some uh, faces like you yeah, don't know if i'm freaking out or not yeah they're kind of deciding if i'm freaking out <laughs> i love it that's good that's that we're working on new things okay good and you know i always give you a challenge <laughs> okay let's do it without the music and then with the music Hey, guys. <clears throat> oh, and she's the view. Oh, otherwise, then in the video. Oh, jeez, stress me out. Technology is just really. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, 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 there we go. That's the place. That's the place. Okay. Good. You ready? <laughs> okay. Without the music, I'm just counting. One, two, three, four. One. <laughs> Let's do it with the music. With the music, slightly faster, okay? Don't panic. Go on this video when it's uh, uploaded to, to YouTube. 
and uh, so anyway, I'm super excited because now I'm um, uploading the videos. I'm doing the, the the video editing much faster because my husband got me a new computer. So for my birthday, which is actually on Tuesday, <laughs> so I'm be one year older next next week. So yeah, but they got the computer already. So the computer is like super good because the the one before, I think you have to uh, you know to do this <laughs> with a how do you call it a crank <laughs> just to make it work. No, I'm just I'm just kidding. But I'm gonna be hopefully faster editing the videos now. So yeah, I wanted to tell you that it's my birthday on Tuesday. No, cheeky cheeky Maria. Okay, so let's do the music. <laughs> I'm not too excited about it, if I'm honest. <laughs> Remember, about moments, minute three seconds, about zero five. So you ready? We're gonna do it with the music. Slightly bit faster. Okay. Ready? Good. Okay. Work on it, guys. You've got material here to work, and we've got more classes to to work on it. So let's. Uh, we still have ten minutes left. So let's. Shall we give a? Uh, shall we remember from the very beginning? We're gonna start. I think all the classes from now they're gonna be. What minute is that bit in the song? Minute three, second five. Okay, so three zero five more or less. Uh, yeah, the minute is four minutes thirteen seconds long, so <laughs> no worries. Um, good. So let's start from the beginning, and I'm gonna be slowly reminding everyone. For those of you that already knew the choreography, perfect. You can use just this uh, to um, make things clearer and maybe you know clarify some uh, some questions. If you have any question. Unmute yourselves and ask, yeah, because it's okay. That's what we're doing. We're cleaning, okay? We're cleaning the choreography. But for those of you that maybe is completely brand new, don't worry, because I'm going to be remembering it very slowly so you can learn it. And also you can go back to the videos and uh, learn the whole choreography because everything is, is there. That's the good thing about YouTube and all the archives that <laughs> we've been building in the channel. Okay, so we're going to start in very beginning of the of the choreography okay so we were just doing remember just a bit about marcaje in the beginning okay so the marcaje was just the legs to the front dun, da, dun, da, 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 da. so leg to the front and back leg to the front and back leg to the front and back Okay, so if I'm sideways, you are in your flamenco posture, okay? So, um, uh, feet slightly open in the shape. I say this so many times, isn't it? Like a broken disc. <laughs> no. uh, knees slightly bent, engage your core and your marcaje will go just from ta 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 Da, 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 just four, okay? Beginning. Let's just take it easy. We're just introducing ourselves. The arms, they're just gonna be going <clears throat> up. Uh, we're doing some um, hands, but don't worry, just the arms for now. They're just going to fifth position, okay? And they will come in all at once here, okay? So, you will have eight times to go up with the um, with the marcaje, and then they will go down in one go. And now you're gonna distribute the four marcajes, okay, with your hands. Ta ta ra ta ra ra ta ta ra ta ra ta 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 ra ta ta ra ta ta ra ta 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 ta
So you see, you have all that time and distribute your movement well, so you don't get in the first marcaje already here, and you have the other four already uh, at the end, okay? So the first one, right, da, 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 close, da. the second, it will be more or less here, the third, you carry on going up, and the fourth, you're already in the fifth position. Da, 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 da. Good? Okay. So let's do it with me looking at the other side. Good? You ready? E. Fast. Da, 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 Raising our, our arms without doing anything with our legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And in the number eight, there's going to be a change. Okay, with my hands. What I'm doing, remember, is from here. So I'm, I'm raising my hands without any movement in the hands. Okay, so just your hands are playing like this. My elbows are the ones. Leading the movement, lead the movement with your elbows. Now, when there's the moment where you cannot possibly go uh, farther without raising your shoulders, okay, then is when you change and you lead with the hands. Good. Yeah, did that make sense? Good. Because otherwise, ugh, there's no place to go, isn't it? Here, shoulders down. Um, elbows leading the movement and now change here and now when I'm here sorry some notifications from Facebook I just switch what I'm doing is just this from here here okay that's what I'm doing with my hands five six seven eight okay and what I'm doing at the same time is just chin up and shoulders slightly bend just a tiny bit i'm not bending back okay i'm just doing this so kind of a <coughs> reminding that i'm now looking up okay so <clears throat> sorry one second yeah do it here one two three four five six seven eight yeah one two three four so i go down with my hands were here, so now just like you have a mirror in your hands and you're looking at yourself in the mirror, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Good, once again, let's do it just uh, together from the beginning. We're cleaning, guys. We just, uh, I know for some of you, this is already material that you've done, but it's really good just to, you know, go back and remember and clarify things. Uh, and that's what we're gonna be doing in all the classes until we get to the to the end. So a bit of new material and a bit of uh, cleanup, so we can kind of do both uh, both jobs. Okay. Once again, E from the top. Pan taran tararata, tarara two, tara tarara, tara tarara three, tarara tara tara, tara tara. Concentrate on the legs and hips. Ah, ah, because the hips are the most important thing here. Okay, so moving my hips is most important than moving my arms in this moment. Okay, and my hip goes, <clears throat> sorry, oh geez, my hip goes the opposite to my leg. So when my right leg is opening, my left hip is going up. 
So it's like if I'm pulling a string the opposite, the leg of the hip, yeah? We're so going opposite ways. So, uh, pull the string, yeah. And now the other way, pa, 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 pa. And now keep the hip on that side because your string is already pulled. Pa, pa, pa. Yeah, make sense? Pa, 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 pa. Okay. This is very important, this hip work, okay? And it's more advanced at a beginner's level, way more advanced. <laughs> so I'm just giving you these hints so you can start working on that because that's when it gets really interesting. Right, I think I have a lot of time. Jesus Christ, okay, so true. <laughs> Let's do something. Let's do just this, this beginning with the music and then we, yeah, definitely. Oh, Teresa, I'm so sorry. Okay, so, sorry, I promise you. I promise you two things. One, I'm gonna do a video, just doing the choreography, full thing, and I'll upload it to YouTube, okay, with the music, because I promised you to do the choreography and I didn't. And, but next class I will do it as well. But I promise I will do that video for you. Let's do it from the beginning, just this little part that we've been working on. Here we go, you ready? Two. So sorry that I ran out of time, that I ran over to the next class. Uh, but yeah, I would do the choreography for those of you that already know the choreography quite well and want to see like the whole picture, what we've got because we are very close to the end, okay? So yeah, I see in the intermediate eh, or improvers <laughs> if you are coming to the next class. Otherwise, I'll see you on Thursday. I promise I'll do that video, Teresa. I won't forget. And thank you all for showing up. Thank you all for being here. Stay safe. Gracias. See you. Nos vemos. <laughs> see you in one minute. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I'm already late. See you.